How's everybody doing tonight? Good, good, good. Um, my name is Javon. Um, I'm 18. I'm a poet. This is what I love to do. Um, I'm actually here on behalf of my clique, Proof, Poetic Representatives of Optimism and Faith. Right. And, uh, Go ahead. Me, me personally. Me personally, I feel like everybody should find their proof, like why they're here and what they're doing. Um, I'm, push, I'm pursuing righteousness over obstacles and failures. That's my proof. Um, I'm going to do a couple poems for you guys tonight. I just hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, let's go. Um, my first piece is titled Pineal Gland. <clears throat> Pineal Gland. Next level dimensions. Demented, diabolic adolescent. They told me chill, but I'm not sweating, I can't stress it. Cause even back when I slept with the stuffed bugs bunny, my mind looped like overlapping parabolas. I was a preteen with a screw loose and flipping out like a spatula. See, every day without a freak out, I was thinking spectacular, but living real means you go by facts and can't nobody back them up. So I'm off the road, Wally Coyote, before the acne anvil fell. And when I landed, I went blind. Now either I lost it and fell in the cave, or I finally made it to hell. But I can't hit a switch, cause all my bright ideas never got my bulb lit. That's dead Watts. Wasted assassination plots on my enemies. So instead, I blow minds, John F. Kennedy. Nuclear threats followed by curses. Life filled with purpose and cursive. See dilemmas fill life like Marilyn Monroe filled dresses with her curvaces. And when it gets bad, you wonder, damn, who really deserves of this? But you forget that life is live and there ain't no way of reversing it. When I wake up, my third eye blinks twice, readjusting my corneas to what the cold world holds for the day. It sees flightless birds getting pushed into wind and they sway. Lost dreamers with euphoria and fate in the days. Self-made bosses, but it's obvious the dues have yet to be paid. In turn, there's another generation on the road that's yet to be paved. So it's hustle and determination that we're trying to change and not the poison of greed that we're trying to contain. So tell me, what will you see when the lights go off and the only way for sight is the mind? I divided the sixth sense by two states of mind to find ways with my third eye. Thank you. Wow. Um, my, second piece is, uh, my second piece is titled Blackout. And um, when I started writing it, I really didn't really have a context for it. But uh, I think it's appropriate that it's the last day of Black History Month. And um, I have this piece for you guys. Um, again, it's titled Blackout. Lately, I've been contemplating, would I rather survive on my knees or die on the top tier? And is survival something that's even worth having since the end is so near? It's a damn shame how y'all don't have my visions or else you would see that the plot is so clear This shit is sad enough for a blood to feel bad for a crip I'm talking about crying the blues and shedding a tear For I have seen I'm a part of the master plan We almost got a plate but they still got a seating out of master's hand We hungry for our share and our meal plan is getting more sheer But I'm used to starving, the meat of my history has been stripped from the bone And fed to other people's history so they can have a story that's gifted and wrapped with the bow They got a young brother living like well, forbid there be some black superheroes. Cause what did Clark Kent do when he found out he was from Krypton? He grabbed his cape and rose to the occasion. So that's exactly how I felt when I found out that wealth and education flourished from the darkest of nations. Mm. Where your people have been is a sign of where you're destined to go. But this knowledge has been kept from us so that we never know. It's no coincidence that a lot of us do not know our past before slavery. Eurocentric screening has damned us to grow up not knowing what we're capable of. They hope that black would fade to black. The echoes of our homeland have been suppressed, but with strength that's relentless, lies have been left undressed. See, I'm a part of the master plan where this nation's founding fathers threw up blinds to block out the suns. With there being no light, they were betting on me never to see, but with having a half black president through those blinds, I caught a peek. Can't you see? We're the lost picture. Some of us look up to gods that don't even stand for us. Our motive for life is now a lost scripture. We're the lost picture. And it's crazy because they started with cropping us out. Now we're conditioned to think that crop is what we're about. Picking cotton, smoking weed. Hell, they even sold us coke to assure that black bodies would still be strange fruit ornaments hanging from trees. Left us in situations that were hard to get out of. To the extent that character wasn't the thing that truly mattered. Brainwashed to think that material things are what we should be proud of. Drugs made us sick. We were diseased, turned green, because we let dead presidents represent what we mean. And that only set up the beef. And 
Now we only shine as bright as the blood diamonds on our teeth. And now can't you see why we can't let this plan go accordingly? But it might be too late because I'm a part of the master plan where they want me to hate you, my brother. They want me to hate you so much that they want me to put the feds in business by purchasing an illegal weapon. Then again, even if it is legally owned, they want me to break into my father's lockbox, grab his Beretta, and show you how a young dude with no kids can still pop, pop. And they're counting on me, wanting to be quick to pull it up like I'm trying to beat the shot clock. And when I was in school hearing about who was contributing dimes, it was never talk about donating box tops. They created our reality. But in a world like this, priority don't exist, so I ask. Shall I think like Malcolm? March like Martin? Speak like Obama? All I need are the tools to build so I can pursue intellectual highs in order to make dollars. That makes sense to me. So why celebrate a month when every day that I live, I can make black history? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. 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 Yes.